Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this video, what I want to highlight is the function called point direction. This is a very useful function that allows you to point any object in any direction and also do it dynamically. So I'm going to be showing you how we can shoot fireballs out of a wand and it will always be pointed and angled at the mouse when we create them. This is very useful for, sh for creating any kind of projectiles out of any kind of object. So if you've got a shooter or a slasher or anything and you need something to be thrown and you want that image to be flying in a certain direction, this is the way you can do it. So I've got two sprites here. I've got a fireball and I've got a wand. Both of these I found on Open Game Art, and I just searched for Fireball and Wand. But it doesn't matter what you use, you can use any images that you want, that part's not important. The thing that is important is that the projectile and the things that are facing new ways dynamically, they need to be rotated right like this. So we need to have them be facing right because Game Maker does some maths to figure out the direction that we want to angle our image in. And to have it look correct, it needs to be angled this way. So you can put the origin anywhere you want. And you can see I've got one on the left and I've got one in the middle. That part doesn't matter as much, but you want to make sure that they are angled to the right. So I've got two objects here. I'm going to go ahead and add a step event. And in the step event, all we're going to do is angle the wand as well, so that when we make the fireball, it looks like it's coming out of the right place of the wand too. And to do that, we use the function called point direction, and we assign the value that we get from it to the image angle. So I'm going to set image angle equal to point direction, and this takes four arguments. You've got x1 y1, x2, and y2. And what it's asking for is what is the first object and what is the second object's coordinates. So you hand in the first x and y of the object that it's coming from. So we want the wand to be rotating around facing the mouse, so the first object is the wand itself. So we just put x and y. And we want it to always be facing the mouse, so we use mouse x and mouse y. So then if I press F5 and run this, you'll see that the wand will now rotate correctly around the mouse. So that's perfect. Now let's go to the mouse event, global, left pressed. And inside of here, we're going to create a fireball and they're going to angle it and move it in the direction that the mouse is currently at. So we're going to make a fireball. We're going to create it at a depth. We're going to put it at x and y, depth minus 1, that way it's on top of the wand. And we're going to create obj fireball. And then with our fireball, we are going to set the same thing we did inside of the step event. But we're also going to set the direction and speed so that it moves. So direction is going to be point direction and this is going to be the exact same thing that we just did so x y mouse x and mouse y then we can set image angle to direction because direction is already set to where we want it to and then we'll just give it a speed of five so that it will fly through so if i left click it creates a fireball and it's always facing the correct direction as well. No matter where the mouse goes, it is moving in that direction and it is always angled correctly. So I'll show you really quickly what happens if you don't have it angled correctly. So we can come into images and we can rotate these like anti-clockwise. And then you can see that if we try and do this, it's just gonna look really funny. So they're always gonna be angled just slightly wrong. And that's just because the way Game Maker does it is they need to be angled to the right and then it will work accordingly. So make sure that when you're doing this, if you're getting that really weird, they're just not in the right direction, make sure that they are angled to the right and you'll be all set. That's all for this video. If you have any functions that you use when you're making games that you find super helpful, let me know in the comments and I will definitely highlight those in future videos. 
But that's what I've got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and as always, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>